Hello, people of the internet! I am Slorak Dragon, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Now, I know that when we last left off, I said I would be going through that gate and eventually fighting the boss, but I decided to first come back and use and do a couple things first. So, first, we're gonna use the lockstone to reveal not one, but two hidden rooms. The first of which leads to a wooden chest that is not trapped. Good. And behind that chest is a soul vessel, which I rem if you remember from that was a really high pitched screen, which if you remember from earlier is what allows you to reset your character. And the other one leads yep, to this room so we could make it back here. And another thing I would like to know is that on my way here, when I was in this room fighting, I accidentally blew up the barrels and I revealed a hidden room back here. Which contains the arch straight robes and shield. Now I'm pretty sure that's all that there is of this set, so I'm just gonna equip both of them real quick. Yeah, I look like a big fluffy guy in a bathrobe. Not really my stuff. Uh, let's switch my shield back to a sword, and let's read that equipment off really quick, like and, 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 and the Archdrake Shield, Shield of the Archdrake Sect of Lindelt. The dragon was engraved for ritual purposes, but the shield itself is highly functional. The secrets of Lindelt rituals are protected by the Archdrake Set, and only a select few are given access to their canon of knowledge, which include the truthful origins of the Archdrake Set itself. Alright, so there's some sort of secret society. And little is known about the Archdrake sect and its ancient rituals, but it's said that their well-honed miracles and unwavering faith in the face of death made them worthy rivals in Drang Lake's forces in their day. Alright, so that's taken care of. So the other thing I planned on doing before going to fight the boss of the area was I'm going to return to Majula, throw the... Um, Sublime Bone Dust into the bonfire so that I can get an upgrade to my Estus Flasks and take out those rats again and see about leveling myself up a little bit more. So I'm going to take care of that real quick and then when, and then I will cut it and come back to me standing right before that gate again. So let's travel to Majula real quick. Come on, don't daddly along. Let's not take all day. This doesn't, I don't have so, I don't have an endless amount of time for my videos. I only do half hour sessions for PlayStation 3 stuff because, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like they deserve quite a bit more time. Especially since I still haven't figured out a way to get rid of those red lines. I really do think it's just that um, my graphics card for the computer can't keep up with Dark Souls 2 graphics though. Which, if it, that's the case, then there shouldn't be any of the lines on the Kingdom Heart games. I really, really hope there isn't, because that will be so annoying. The Kingdom Heart games are such great games. Stupid little rats. I hate them. There we go. And what did you drop? Just a cracked red eye orb. So let's head to our future queen, the Emerald Herald. I keep calling her that. I'm sure some people are getting annoyed by me continuously calling her that. Nope. I want to use these souls as well while I'm going so that I can have even more souls to spend. Name a soldier and the proud knight souls. There we go. And let's exit out of this little thing and let's talk to her. Oh, she's overlooking the coast. Bearer of the curse. Yes, seek large, more powerful soul. Seek the king, that is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole as it did many others. Please give me some new dialogue soon. Alright. Dexterity, we can pump three levels into it. Doesn't give us a super great amount of damage boost, but it's a decent amount. Let's say yes. And we actually gain some defense against some sword attacks as well. And then finally, we will now burn. Um, that item reverses hollow... No, wait. I'm not sure what would happen if you burned it in there, but let's burn our sublime bone dust, which has str some force has strengthened the Estus flask. Woohoo! All right, and now you can see that Estus flask now has plus one after it. Anyways, I will come back to you all after I have made it to those gates again. So I will see you all soon.
Alright everybody, I am back, and as you can see, I've got some phantom help. First is Lucatila of Mira, and second is a phantom I found at the bonfire to this area. Great Pinkie Pie. Yeah, it's kind of a weird name for a phantom, but I'm not complaining right now. Uh, let's see, what are they coming up here for? I forget. Um, nope, that one's locked. Uh, we can go down here, though. Get this item, a Radiant Life Gem. Alright, and they're healing themselves up real quick. I forget if we can get access to this door or no. Wow, my thing is really being glitchy right now. Nope, we can't. So, without further ado, let us go in and fight the boss of this area. Woohoo! Let's see what we got. Blood is pulsating really hard. Ooh. What's that? It crawled into its uh, her or his eye. They're two-handed wielder. Their hand is in stocks. And they just extinguished most of the light in this room. Lovely. Alright, though. Let's see what we're dealing with here. I know. It's the lost sinner. A very, very, very dangerous boss here. And look at that sword Great Pinkie Pie has. Big blade. I remember when I first started this... When I, in my first playthrough of this game, this sucker gave me hell of a lot of trouble. Drink flask to heal up both of us. Go, Luca Teal! Tanking the hits! Alright. There's a pattern to her, though. Come on, we want to kill her before... Or him, or... I forget! Oh, shoot! That could have been very, very bad. Dang it! She is a very agile foe! Whoa, 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 whoa! That was close, and my friend, my phantom friend, Great Pinkie Pie, is doing some pretty heavy damage to the Lost Sinner as well. Come on, we want to kill the Lost Sinner before we lose Luca Teal. I'm sure it doesn't matter if Luca Teal dies or not, but I don't like my phantoms dying on me. Come on. Ouch. Drink, drink, drink. Break the flask. Nope. Luca Teal's gone. We have lost Luca Teal. But the sinner has also fallen. Great soul embrace. Yep, that's right. It's one of the great souls of the game. The soul of the lost sinner. Thank you, great Pinkie Pie. You have been awesome. You are getting a special recommendation from me. Uh, can we wave? Bye bye, Pinkie Pie. Great Pinkie Pie. My bad, you are the Great Pinkie Pie. That's right. Alright. And what do these messages say? Hurrah for victory, and I did it. Yes. Strange, I remember this room being more spherical. But let's open this door. We got a lot of souls from that, too. A, ho a whole lot of souls. And down here, we have a small room. Liar ahead. Oh, there's a chest right here. What's in the chest? Anything bad? Nope, we get Fragrant Branch of Yore and an Elizabeth Mushroom. Excellent, that Fragrant Branch of Yore is going to be very handy shortly. Um, let's light this bonfire. It is a Primal Bonfire, that's right. Primal Bonfire was rekindled. This just lets us return to Majula, which I am not going to do right now, or am I? I'm debating with myself. Debating... Baiting? Yeah. Might as well return. Well, no. No. I'm not returning to Majula just yet. I am going to lay down my soap sound. My white sign soapstone. And see if I can help somebody else out. Help somebody else out. Like the great Pinkie Pie helped me out. Wow, this is really getting graphically glitchy for me. Really badly. And I am not sure why. But 
I will cut this right here, and I will come back either when I'm summoned or if five minutes have passed. So I'll see you guys all soon. All right, I am back, and we have been summoned to the world of Sigunas, um, 98 as their phantom. So let us see how we can help them with the lost sinner. All right, there's only they're only going with one phantom. I can respect that. No need to see the cutscene again. Can I skip it? Only if they skip it. Can I skip it? I forgot that. But you get to see the Dark Souls reference once again. That's right. I haven't mentioned the... I haven't messaged the Great Pinkie Pie yet. I meant to do that in between, but I got summoned way too fast. So, I will just message them after this episode is done, as long as this phantom. So, let... I mean, not this phantom, this player, because I'm the phantom this time. Unless I... Fail, in which case I won't message. Come on, let me enter. Pass through the fog. Quickly, quickly. There we go. Uh, I hope they have flasks. Because I don't. And I'm not wasting too many life gems on them. Because I need life gems for myself, to be frank. Alright, we almost got the lost center down. She's... This per oh! Um, I was separated from the world I was summoned to, so I guess my internet connection isn't up to snuff, maybe? Or they dismissed me, maybe? That's also a distinct possibility. Maybe they wanted somebody that does more damage. But I guess they won't be getting a message from me. Just the great Pinkie Pie will. So, I guess I will continue just going through this episode now. Um, I can't gain access. Nope, I was disconnected from the multiplayer session, which means my connection was just bad at that time. No real surprise there. My connection isn't the greatest one. Especially when it comes to Dark Souls for some reason. But let's just use this and return to the far fire. We got plenty of souls to spend on levels now. And actually, I almost forgot... Lost Sinner, uh, her soul, or his soul, or wait, I'll just confirm if it was a guy or a girl, as soon as my internet starts to work, Grr! my internet is such problematic sometimes, much problems, wow, alright, let's see, did I get any other souls that I can spend, no, I did not, but look at that great fire, that great soul, I'll read the description too, the lost sinner eternally punishes herself, so it's a female, for the sins of her past. So she must have committed some kind of crime. And her soul can be used either for 25,000 souls or to get a special blade. Let's talk to her. You have acquired the soul of an old one. That I have, Emerald Herald. That I have. That is more than most in death can say. Most? You mean somebody else got her soul? Well, I guess I'm not so special. No, I'm real special. Uh, but anyways, let's pump our dexterity up, because this is getting really high. And I'm talking really high. We're calling for 50 at the end. Alright, so that's dexterity. Now, before I start making any more progress, there is one other place I want to go first. And that is to use the petra fr that fragrant branch of yore. Because I didn't read the description actually yet, so I'll read that off at the bonfire. So that you can guys can get a somewhat of an idea of what exactly it does. Uh, you know, I'm actually considering cutting out these, like, in-betweens as well. Because, I mean, they don't take too long, but they do take time. Alright, inventory. And we got two items. The Elizabeth Mushroom. Gr large, gradual restoration of HP. Specially treated dried mushroom. Creates a euphoric sense when ingested and restores a large amount of HP over time. Saint Elizabeth devoted her life to helping the needy by concocting medicine and potions. It's thought her great virtue was matched only by her sublime beauty, but who can say now? 
Well, if she's hollow, then she's not so beautiful anymore. Fragrant Branch of Yore restores living things from petrification. A fragrant tree branch with a faint, sweet smell restores the life of things turned to stone. Extended inhalation of the branch can, scent can lead to coughing and nausea. So, it can restore things that are petrified back to stone. I didn't want to do that. What I wanted was to grab from here these souls because we are approaching somewhere where they can be used, I believe, if I remember correctly, and I usually do with these things. But I'm sure you all remember back when I first entered, when I first found this area, how up there there was two cells, one with a bonfire behind it, but was blocked by a statue, right? Well, what do you think the fragrant branch of yours for? That's right, that person is petrified and we are going to be setting them free. So they will no longer be, be a statue anymore. Granted, that bonfire won't really be usable until we have wiped out these guys up here from ever respawning, but that shouldn't take terribly long time. Come on, die. Yeah, we'll do that shortly as well. Or, we'll do that maybe between episodes. Ouch! Knocking me back. I was gonna say knocking me up, but I'm not a girl. Ow! Double knock up back. I keep almost saying knock up. I know, I know. I've got a filthy mind when I say knock up. I think of a girl getting pregnant, but hey, I'm 21 years old. Alright, use the fragrant ranch of your... Yes. And he is freed. Woot! You freed him. What do you have to say, my friend? Well, you gave us access to here, so let's light this bonfire up. We can now teleport here at our um, convenience. <laughs> get it? Get it? Because he was a statue? You get it? Well, you're welcome. You are very grateful. Strayed. Strayed. Oh, you're a sorcerer. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, dude, but I'm not a very magically inclined person. Considering how <laughs> decrepit this place is, I doubt anybody will miss you from no longer being a statue. What else do you have to say? Very good. Very good indeed. What's very good? Tell me. Cursed one, weak you may be, but I, Strayed, would teach you my spell. <sighs> Thanks for the offer, Strayed, but I don't really need your spells. Um, I learned the mock gesture from you, but what can we trade? Ah, right. So here is where you can trade souls for, like boss souls, for different items. So, from for the Ruined Sentinel Soul, we can get Heavy Homing Soul Arrow. We won't use it, but it's better than having the soul mucking up our inventory. It does cost uh, normal souls as well, so we can't actually get any of this other stuff. But now we know where we can trade some of the souls in for. He also sells the Ring of Knowledge, which increases intelligence. The Lingering Dragon Crest Ring, which increases the length of spell effects. Rogue Water, which restores HP and spell use. And various other spells, but I don't have a enough intelligence to use any of them because my character's Dumbo. <laughs> but seriously, we don't have them used for them. Uh, how long was I sat Honestly, dude, I have no idea how long. long for the old kingdom to have crumbled, I see. Well, yeah, the old kingdom's gone, but you know, I'm becoming a new king, so you know. <laughs> You're a sorcerer, you don't have to be a wandering sorcerer, you can be my royal court mage. I've never heard the name. Okay, so he's been here for a while if he doesn't know is that this that place is called Drangleic. Yep, that's what they call this place now, dude. Very Strayed. <laughs> yep, very good. Were within this land. Really? So people that were cursed were imprisoned here first? Course, you came of your own free will. Yeah, I did come from my own free will. The people fear the cursed ones like a plague. I see. So they feared me and my kind. The people would rather keep dreadful things out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, unfortunately that's true for a lot of things. It kind of could be 
like a reference back to the original Demon Souls as well, I suppose. Because there was a whole, like, plague area where the sick and disease were forced in Demon Souls. And it was a swamp area. Yep. Uh, anybody that posts like a threat. They even turned the grape straight to stone. No flame. Yep, that is a very true thing. Yep. I. Yep, I'll inherit the flame. I will become the new king. I see. So that's where pyromancy comes from. She harnessed the power of the flame and melted it into pyromancy. So she harnessed firepower to make firepower. Ah, uh, yes. Talk of the original Dark Souls. Ah, legends are legends. Oh, trust me, dude. They're what not legends. I believe them. Uh, long enough. And he has nothing else to say. Is that what they call no, I don't want to keep talking to you, dude. Stop. Of course. Sorry, dude. I. Free with don't just walk off. Sorry, dude, but I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're kind of creeping me out. Uh, let's store these souls away since we have no use for them right now, and as well the soul vessel. And that's all we really can do here. We could clear out the people in this, the un, the enemies in this area, but. I don't think I'm going to. I think I am going to return to Majula because there is nothing left for us in this avenue. Which means we get to take a new branch, a new pathway. Woohoo! Yay, you guys get to see me take a new pathway this time. Um, I'll just go over the pathways in case people forgot because I'm sure some people have. There's nothing to be ashamed of in that. So, when we first started our journey, we came from up there, and we journeyed down this way through the Forest of the Fallen Giants to the Lost Bastille. Now, there's three more paths that we can journey down. We could journey up in that path, but I know from past experience that we can't because it is blocked off by another petrified person, so we would need another fragrant branch of yore. We could travel down this path, and while I'm pretty sure I might be able to survive falls now, I don't generally want to because there is a ring that you can get that reduces fall damage. Or we can take the third option and go through that path. And that is the path I'm going to be doing. However, I'm sorry to do this to you guys, but it's going to have to wait for the next episode. Yeah, I am, am pretty sure I haven't even come close to the half hour mark for this episode. But I kind of want to end it here and start my next episode with me journeying to the next area because, I don't know, it will feel a bit better story-wise. But before I do go, there is one more thing that I want to show you all. Well, more like a couple more things. I First, I think, is the cartographer dude here yet? I don't see him right now. Maybe he's... High? Or no, he's low. He's low. Right, that's right. He's down here. Yes. So he's right there, and you can also... If you... Hang on. I'm gonna take care of this enemy down here if he still spawns. Uh, are you down here, dude? Nope, the skeleton doesn't respawn, okay? But as you can see, not only is the cartographer dude that we met back in the forest here, but this place, which was... Once dim, it's now got two flames lit. And here, right here I'm pretty sure, is Majula, while there is that. So this represents each of the primal bonfires as well as the far fire. This one being Majula, and this one being the one in Sinner's Rise. So let's see what he has to say. Oh, hello again. Hello again, dude. I forgot your name. Sorry. Um, sure. Of course. I made it. Yeah, I made this map. Yep, I made it. Yep, that's because of me. Oh, I caused it. I lit prim primal flames. Yeah, I kind of already explained. 
Yeah, the flames are very comforting. Fire soothes the soul very deeply. Um. Yeah, I already ventured in there, and you have nothing else to say, do you? Such a shame. He doesn't have anything. I think he might have, like, a quest or something. Was there a room right here? Alright, this just leads up. I think he might have, like, a quest line or something. A lot of these NPCs do. I just don't really remember. And I'm actually going to look into that in between this episode and next. But, as I said, I will be calling this, cutting this episode a bit shorter than the rest because I want to start off the next episode with me journeying that way. So, I have been Solarx Dragon. I do hope that you've enjoyed this. If you have, leave some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you want to check out more from me, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's YouTube Solarx Dragon. Channel Solarx Dragon, but you already know that because you're watching my videos. And next time, we will be journeying in through that area. So, I will see you all then. Have a great day, everybody.